Hi, <sighs> Vey. Here we go. Drama, drama. Just like the old YouTube days. Okay. The other day I made a video to this ba Baba Baba Booey Bob Bada Bada Bing Bob. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. No disrespect, but I made a video reply to somebody's video. Cute little Asian girl who made this video about being in Hong Kong. Whatever. I'm sure she's she's a YouTube partner, and I'm sure she's got a gazillion subscribers because she's young and cute, and people are really superficial that way. So whatever, good for you, Baba. Whatever. But anyway, I watched one of her videos. The first time I've watched one of her videos. And right in, the, in her video, she uses a picture of a bullet train to demonstrate something, her point on something. And I noticed the picture has a watermark going through it, which means she got it from an image bank and she didn't pay the poor guy who went out and made that image. And I made a video saying, hey, go back and pay this guy his five bucks. You obviously thought that image was good enough to use and it saved you a lot of time and effort. So go pay the guy his five bucks. Do the right thing. And I'm getting tons of hate mail from people, like I knew I would, who think it's okay to just steal whatever they want for their own use because it's on the internet. King human, it's just a picture. Shut the hell up. King human, she's young and pretty, and you're old and fugly. Shut the hell up. King human, the picture has a watermark through it. That means it's okay for people to use as long as it's got the watermark in it. And justification after justification why it's okay to steal this thing. And it drives me mental because people are so superficial and self-centered that they really think this way. Let me tell you people something. Everybody that made a comment saying how it's okay and how it's just a minor thing and how it doesn't matter and how I'm being a dick. Let me clue you guys in on something. Okay, the guy that went and took that picture, that's his livelihood. That's his job. That's what he does to feed his kids and keep a roof over his head. He's trying to earn a living. He probably spent years learning his craft. He's an artist. And he spent I know he spent hours just taking that one picture alone because it was very professionally done. And after first of all, he schlepped all of his equipment down to the bullet train to take a bunch of pictures. That alone is a lot of work. Then he sets up his equipment and he takes the pictures. Then he brings the pictures back to his home studio edits them on a computer, which again is hours of work. Digitizing them, resizing them, enhancing them, cropping them, whatever. Then he spends hours cataloging these things and uploading them to an image bank so that he can license the use to whoever likes his images and he can make a few bucks. That's his, that's his job. That's his career. And Everybody comes out and says, now I've, you've got hundreds of thousands of people, maybe millions of people out there who think, I can just take that and use it without paying this guy. Well, let me ask you this. Everybody who thinks that, okay, you've just stolen five bucks out of that guy's pocket by not paying his license fee. Now multiply that by hundreds of thousands of people who think that that's okay to do. If it was you, and I don't know what you people do for a living. I don't know if you flip hamburgers. I don't know if you dig ditches. I know you don't do anything intellectual like writing books or creating art or music or anything like that. Because if you did, you would understand the situation. So let's say you, you work at McDonald's or whatever the hell it is. And you work your 40-hour shift and somebody comes along and steals $5 out of your paycheck you would be the first to scream like a stuck pig. And that's just one person stealing five bucks out of your paycheck. Imagine having hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of people stealing five bucks from your paycheck. 
That's what's happening to this poor guy. It's not one person stealing one image. It's not a trivial thing. It's a huge thing. It's a pervasive attitude that people don't care about because it doesn't affect them. In fact, it benefits them. If I can go out and steal an image, I'm benefiting. And I can justify it in a million different ways and not pay the guy who needs to be paid. But yet, when it happens to you, you're gonna steal. You're gonna squeal and squeal and cry and snivel, bitch. Trust me, I know it. Everybody's so freaking self-centered. It's all about me, how I can benefit. You never think about the other guy. You never think about his family, his kids who need to eat. His maybe he's supporting his. You don't care. You don't give a crap. And it makes me sick. It makes me sick because there's nothing as common. The common decency doesn't even exist anymore. People are so self-centered. And I find myself having to explain this to you people because you can't think about it for yourself. And that makes me sick. I don't know what else to say to you people. And I'm sure I'm going to get a million hate comments on this video. And whatever. I don't care. You people, all you idiots that think it's okay to steal and take whatever you want because it's on the internet, you didn't work for it, you didn't produce it, you're, you're either too stupid or you're not talented enough to create something on your own, it's okay. Just go ahead and steal whatever you want. Idiots. Make me sick.